Well, howdy, tubers. Well, I thought I'd come out and uh, finally get to those baffles on the oil cooler here. I just just got the front off, just got the spinner off, and and just looking at what I need to do but i thought well good opportunity to make a video and of course here's the another shot of the engine from the front view that you don't ever get to see much of and how it how it bolts in here which uh i i know this morning when i turned on youtube uh one of the recommended videos was the video of uh, Hummel engines I mean Hummel Hummel aircraft company doing the video on their v-twin engine and telling you that it that this is that it bolts to here of course at the same time they was doing the video I was doing the video too so anyway uh, that's where that's where they uh Put adapter mount from there down, some something like that, and then their engine bolts into there. And they've had they've had some interest in that. Although I was talking to Lori last night of, of Hummel Aircraft Company, and she was saying how you know they're 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 aircraft manufacturer, not an engine manufacturer. So I don't know. Uh, what that means except for they don't want to get into the engine manufacturing thing they like doing the airplane thing but that's there goes some turbo prop thing up there looks like the wind's kind of dead now it's not a bad day but uh, I know I needed to get out here and and do some kind of baffling. So that's what I'm up to today. So, well, I think I'll just uh, put these all together instead of doing one and then another one and then another one. So this will just be a continuation one. So there you go. But I'll still say God bless. Okay, tubers back again. Uh, got the top one in here so that it fits down against the top of the, the cooler the baffle does and I'm making the making the bottom one that will fit up right like that that ought to force some air through there. Like I say, I don't know about the sides, but we'll give that a try anyways. So, there's a short little video that I'll carry on. Well, there we go. I got the bottom one in there, and there's the top one. That ought to direct it directly in there except of course I don't have any sides on here but I think we'll just try that and see how that helps and go from there uh, if I put some side ones in there I think I'll put that rubber stuff in there so it kind of be a little more flexible or something but he's where the baffles hitting is on that on the uh, well what is it probably 40 thousandths there and on all the way around it's just hitting on the 40 thousandths side and I think that'll work just fine and dandy as long as it of course forces air through that cooler so I have to give that a try now but I didn't bring my prop uh, torque wrench or the torque wrench setup that I've got but I can get it all back together and and uh, 
except for getting the prop torqued. So, there we go. God bless.